We want this course to be as practical as possible, so most of your time will be spent following along with the videos to get used to the navigation and features within PageFly. We'll be building a total of eight distinct pages. Product page, landing page, home page, about page, collection page, testimonial page, FAQ, and contact page. Some of these will be a lot simpler than others, but the aim is to equip you with the skills and confidence to start creating your own. For some videos, precision is not the emphasis, but rather ensuring you've got the practical skills down. We'll be following a three-step process for each page that we build. First, we'll design the structure of the page using layout elements. Layout elements are essentially containers that hold the content and allow you to control the placement of information on the page. Layout elements typically go in descending order from largest to smallest, starting with sections, then row, then onto columns and blocks. You'll see exactly how these function in the first tutorial video when we begin building the first product page. Second, we'll be adding the content and functional elements. Some simple examples of these are images, headings, paragraphs, and buttons. For more complex elements like slideshows, accordions, and email forms, we'll go into further detail in the tutorials. Finally, we'll show you how to make sure your pages are optimized for various displays, including mobile phones and tablets. Mobile transactions are poised to become the dominant method for purchasing online in the future, so it's absolutely essential to make sure your pages are responsive across multiple devices. In each video, you'll become accustomed to adjusting padding and margins as well. What this means is adjusting the spacing and positioning of content. We'll be using Google Chrome throughout the course, and I suggest you install the three Chrome extensions that you'll see me using in every video. The first one is Measure Dimensions, the second one is Colorzilla, and finally, What Font. Don't worry if this is all new to you now. By the end of the course, you'll be able to rewatch this video and realize how simple it all really is. So with that said, I'll see you in the first tutorial video. Good luck and enjoy.